All right, team. So one of the best ways that I've managed to develop relationships with management teams as a private equity investor is to help them look at their data. So in this course, I want to walk you through one common example of company data analysis using a large data set. In my career, I've predominantly used this skill set to evaluate new investments. But it doesn't matter if you're evaluating this information with an external perspective the way you might as a private equity professional, or with an internal perspective as a financial analyst employed by the company itself. Analyzing company data is an incredibly valuable skill set, and fortunately, Excel makes it easy. In this course, I'm going to walk through a specific example using Excel tables that I've used many times to analyze investment opportunities. It allows you to measure revenue and profitability in a variety of different ways, and it allows you to get very granular. The structure we will create as part of this course will also help you evaluate a bunch of different variables. Now, we're going to be using a fictional data set, which took me a really long time to create. It actually took me longer to create than it did to analyze, which is great news for you. But the work will otherwise mirror real life work experience. To give this some context, we'll be referring to a fictional company, Squeaky Clean Incorporated, which works with customers to remove medical waste from healthcare centers, including hospitals and surgery centers. Each customer is generally responsible for multiple locations, and at each location, it's possible that there will be different types of medical waste that need to be hauled away. To effectively manage these locations for each of its customers, the company manages a fleet of trucks, engages owner operators, and brokers the work out to other providers of medical waste management when it cannot service the customer itself. So from this description, an analyst might be interested in the following data points. Who are the company's top customers by revenue and profitability? How does revenue and profit vary from location to location? Between the three equipment types, which is the most profitable? How is revenue and profitability split between the different types of waste the company is responsible for? And those are just a few examples of how we're going to splice all of this data. And it is a lot of data. But by the time we're done, you're unlikely to ever be intimidated by a data set because this stuff is pretty simple once you have the skill set. So feel free to dive right in and get started with the course. All right, team, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.